Well, as the winter initiation season edges closer, the debate around regulation continues. In many instances, initiation season has resulted in serious injury, even death. The practice is an important rite of passage for young men into adulthood. But it's not always been the case, and certainly not for my next guest, Mishak Korza, who also calls himself the Punisher. And Mishak joins us to share his story now. Mishak, good morning. Thank you so much for joining us, for joining me in the studio, and most importantly, for sharing your story. Um, we see a lot of young men go into initiation season. It's an important rite of passage, as we said there in the introduction. But in many instances, or in one instance too many, you know, young men either die or they have a botched circumcision and something goes wrong. And I think it's important for us to start off with your story. And I want to just applaud you for being brave enough to do that with okay. our audience this morning. Please okay. go ahead. No, uh, to do the initial school, it's a good thing in a bad way. It, co it goes both sides. Because uh, they, they're using a, a, a scissor, uh, like they don't put any uh, insulin like to cut off, uh, to destroy the pain, like, you know. They do it like naturally. So like from what happened to my side, all my story, like uh, I went there 2003 and then they do that, uh, the scissor thing and then mistakenly they cut off my vein underneath on my private part. And then he has to cut off my private part like, you know, it was too tiny like until for certain some month, like uh, stay for three, five years, like it was disappear. So that's the, that's the bad, bad thing about it and like going to the hospital. So, but that thing, it, it, based on the culture, like in the culture, like you have to do it, uh, most of us, like, but you know, when you go to the hospital, you can go hospital first and you can go to the culture, like, you know, so because when you go to the, after, after coming from the hospital, they don't do the, the what you call, you won't feel any pain or nothing, you just want to just take off. Just a tiny skin on top of you. Yeah. Oh, no. So what you're saying is it should have been a really simple procedure. Um, it turned out to be really tragic in your case because yes. it caused something, you know, quite serious to happen. Fortunately, you were able to go on and regain, you know, full health and full function. You have a wife, you have children now. Yeah. Talk to us about just the trauma of having that happen to you and then having to do all of the things afterwards to ensure that you could still hold on to your health. You no, know, the thing caused me on my uh, on the trauma, like you know, uh, I couldn't feel free after I come from the the in initiate school. I never felt free to take a shower with um, my brothers or everyone, because everyone would be laughing at me, you know. So, for what I'm, I benefit a lot on it, like you know, it uh, it protects not getting any disease or skin infection or something like that. It's good to have it like that, you know. So that's the only benefit I got on it. So as you heard, you know, we're expecting announcements from all of the bodies that are involved in announcing the initiation, the winter initiation season, because you have the winter and summer initiation seasons. What are some of the things, Meshach, that you would love for families to be aware of when they send their boys off to initiation? What are some of the things they must take care to do? In your case, it doesn't seem as if the school leaders were you know, really known uh, to your family in, in terms of knowing whether they'd done this before, whether there were accidents before. So that information wasn't present when you were sent off to do this. Yeah. In that vein, what would you like to say to the authorities and to other families who are sending their boys off? No, from for my side, like, I, I would advise them, they must first go to the hospital first to get uh, the circumcision day. And then from there, they can follow the, uh, the culture thing, you know. Because it's best, like, if you can go to the hospital, and after from hospital, you can go to the initiate school. That's my simple, because they buy uh, initiate school in the culture one. They just need the skin. I don't know what they do with the skin, because they have to cut off the skin. They put on a stick, they stick it somewhere, uh, compare with the ritual thing, whatever they do in a bush, you know. So that's why, like, they need the proper skin, just a normal skin on the body. So the best way for the kids, because most, most kids are dying on a, on a bush day. Mistakenly, sometimes some, some of the people like are doing those things, like the Caesar thing, like they're drunk, they're smoking. So whenever they call, they touch your, your what you call your private part, they mistakenly cut off the whole thing. So I once seen uh, three kids died in front of my my face. Oh wow! Yeah, so that was a mistake. The guy, cause he was uh, he was seven seven kids on on, on the route, like he, he did four, and the fourth one, that's why like he mistakenly, cause his hand he never put a glove on. So he was slipping full of blood, and then he just 
Mr. Lecky cut off the whole thing and then they just kick and then he just lost his life like that. So that's why I said I would advise people like they must take the kids firstly through hospital if they want to follow the culture. You must take them to hospital first. When they're done, they're fully healed. Mm. They can send them in a, in a bush. This mm. is a conversation we will certainly have mm. again as uh, the, the season gets underway about how you can credibly merge the culture the tradition, this important rite of passage okay. with, um, with modern medicine so yeah. that you achieve the best of both worlds and you save lives. Yeah. And that's what you're talking about now. But as you share the story of the other young men that you saw die before your very eyes, yeah. the teachers or the, you know, the people who are in charge of the initiation process being so reckless, so careless with the health of these young boys, um, what did you feel in that moment because you were very young when this happened yeah. what, what did you feel at that point no like because I, I felt bit like I regretted why I've been there in the first place so the only thing is like when you grow up in our culture we have to follow the culture first unlike other things so I've been there because I want to be a man like me because whenever our parents taught us like if you go there you become a man you won't be fear for anything because you see things there by the bush you can see a big cow bigger than this house this building can see a big snake bigger than this house, uh, this building. You see a lot of things happening there, but that thing is like uh, it's only existing while you are there on the initiate school. It doesn't exist when you come out here. They can see a ghost there, smelting gold, uh, whatever everything you saw. A lot of things there. So that's why like our parents there, the suggest us we must go there, and after from there you become a man. So everyone wanna be a man. So that's why like it pushed me to go there. How did you feel as a young man watching? Something bad happened to you and something bad happened to the other boys. No, I feel bad because I even told my son, like, I don't want to take my son there. Because it, 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 it comes both ways. It's either lead, do or die. It's do or die. So that's why I said I had to call me. I, I suggest people, like, you must take their uh, children to the hospital. And then from the hospital, they can go there. That, that's much safer for them. They won't do nothing. Nothing will happen for them. But kids will be healthy and come home safely. And Nishak, the people who are running these schools, how well, uh, and I've shared with our viewers already, it didn't seem as if there was a lot of knowledge about who these individuals were, okay. what their skill was, how many other, you know, initiations they had done before. So just share with us a bit more the process when your parents decided, yes, you should go in the hands and, and handed you over in the care of these men. Okay. You no, know, for me, for my side, they never allowed me to go there. I just went myself. Like, if you can go there, the, the parents can't take you out there. Even the police, no one will take you out there. So by you force. went willingly, actually. Yeah. You went on your own. Yeah, if the parents, they force you to go and take you out there by force, you'll be crazy. You can't come out. You have to wait there for three months, for four months, until you finish the, the procedure, what they want from you. You see? Yeah. So they can't take you. If they can take you by force, and then you'll go mad. So they what, what made you trust these men, though? These particular men in the, in the school? Because my, my friends are Wendy, mm. so they said, let me, let me go there, because I want to be a man, because whatever, like, if you, 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 can't, you can't come from that place, in my village, they don't look like, a, they, they don't take you like a man, like a real man, you know, so I want to be like one of them, you know. So, how do you know, and what would your advice be to other families and to the big institutions, you know, the cultural institutions that manage initiation, in terms of making sure that the people who are entrusted, who are handed the children, are people that you can trust, that people who know what they are doing? No, for me, I, I, I don't see a reason for now, because, you know, a uh, lot of people, they don't follow culture anymore at all. This thing is not worth it anymore. It's not worth it. So I can't recommend, I can't suggest people, like, you know, even those people who run those things, you can't see them every day. They're hiding themselves behind. They just let people run the thing. You can't see them like that. It's like a, you, you become invisible. You only come at night, 2 o'clock. Everyone sleep. You can come there. Okay. And then you just went home. So I, I, I won't recommend people must go there. Because, like, you know, even the, uh, the police can go there. They want the owner. They won't see the owner there. Who's running the whole thing. It just so it's, it sounds as if it's a very shady yeah. or very sort of, let, let's use the word, because shady has bad connotations, mm. but it's more a mysterious yeah. process of who's in charge and, and who mm. is running this. And perhaps we can get some of those answers from you know, institutions like the Institute for African Royalty or uh, Contra Lesa itself. But as we close our interview, um, Mishak, again, thank you so much for sharing your story. Um, and for alerting other families and communities as to how things can go wrong. 
maybe just talk to us about the joy that you felt in being restored um, from a physical perspective and going on to having children and having a full family. The joy I have uh, having a family. For me, like, uh, I still want to build more family. As my wife asked me, one seven children, so like. Wow, you so have now you have three. Two. Two. Yeah, so she want. She told me like every year she want to be pregnant. I said I can't do that. Like I can't keep on being. I can't keep you like a baby pooper. Then she tell me like, <laughs> what's the reason for you to uh, get married with me? I'm still young, so we still have to make more babies until and reach forty. That's where we can stop. So so like, I depend on my health thing. Oh, health thing. But were you, did you feel a sense of relief that, you know, what was a bad situation for you, you know, could be changed into something healthy? Yeah, for me it was a good thing, you know, uh, it changed a lot. I'm able that, you know. Okay. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm proud, like, whatever I, uh, I'm achieving now through uh, on my journey, you know. Yeah. Well, Mishak, thank you very much for coming in to talk to us this morning. Um, thank you for sharing your story in the way that you did and these sentiments that you've shared with us today certainly will put into a conversation that we have with some of the authorities of things that they need to be mindful of, um, especially when it comes to these really negative experiences, some which have ended in death that yeah. a lot of initiatives have had. Mishak, the punisher causer, to sharing with us his initiation story.